themselves with Jerusalem, God says they shall be cut in pieces. Now, I'm going to tell you the meaning behind that. Because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Yes, right. So America has burdened themselves with having keeping us hostage here. But that's who we are. They're going to be cut in pieces. They took our land, the, our land of Jerusalem. The Bible said, you burden yourself with that, and you shall be cut in pieces. Think all the times when it passed you for the job. Think of all the times when you was done dirty by our enemies, man. That's the anger you ought to chance. But think of your fathers if you never been to. All right? Think when it was whipping our fathers, man. Cutting our women's stomach open. Big white men beating little black women upside their head. Think of that. Some brothers' kids have died. Wife has left them. Uh, many things have happened to us, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, man, all that stuff is going to go away. We got to keep our mind on it. Keep the soldiers in mind that the mission. The mission is getting the kingdom of heaven. Ruling over these devils that are us. That's the mission. That's the goal. You believe in this whole time now, right? You, you believe... But, right, you're in the right place right now. We're going we to answer your question. Uh, we're going to go out the Bible. Thus says the Lord. That's why we are here. To wake up our people and let them know that they are special people to God. The reason why we in the situation we are in because we're not doing the commandment. Once you start doing the commandment, because it, it's prophesied that a uh, certain of Israel, these people on this side was going to return back and start doing what God said to do. Latter day. They come to one that Jesus is coming back for. Um, read that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So I told you, but you already know. So, that, that's you know, uh, we, we not out here to bash you or nothing like that, but you know, there's some things you got to change. Once you know you Israel, you got to start doing certain things because the most high. You say you love him, right? You know you love him, right? You know you got to create him. And you know he watch over you, right? So you got to you gotta listen to what he say, take heed, and then you got to make the adjustments because what, what it is is the world don't want to make adjustments to what the Bible says. We ourselves, all of us, we're sinners. We, it's the same thing. We still, this day, struggling, but we learn we have to keep God's commandments. So, That's right. Um, Read, read it from the top. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man is not supposed to wear what pertains to a woman. But what we got today, we got our rap, our, our, what that, that boy, Jaden Smith, um, Will Smith, uh, what, what kind of, hey. But God said it's abomination, read. For all, for all that do so, are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. When you cross dress, when women have on pants and uh, men put on skirts and dresses, it's an abomination to God. That means it's be highly disgusted about that thing. So that he, he looked down on that. We're told, what we gotta do, we gotta change up. So if you say you love God, you gotta start wearing skirts and dresses. Keep, keep, read. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Because our women, these people, the women on our side, they always dressed in modest apparel. They didn't start wearing um, dresses, I mean, uh, pants into the uh, feminist movement. That's right. You knew, you knew about that, the feminist movement? Right, and it's a good thing that you covered your hair too. I'm going uh, I'm to show you that too. That's good. With the shame faceness and sobriety. Not with broaded hair, or gold, or pearl, or costly array. He's saying to serve him, read it from the top of it. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Well, modest apparel meaning you got on, um, you know, a modest, a dress, skirt, down, not uh, figure. 
Yeah, yeah, so, so me and you see your figure and stuff like that, because that calls me in the lust and stuff like that, you see? Yeah, well, so, well, so what did he say? With shame face this. With shame face this. That's, that's like a sad, sadness look, not directly in the eye. You know, we don't, the, our women didn't do that. Oh, uh, like the, the, like right now in America, they teach the, the, the women and men is 50-50. In the Bible, it don't say that. It ain't 50-50. It's a 100. So, um, and God said that marriage is honorable. So you're supposed to have a husband if, you know, when somebody talk, talk to you or something. But he said, same faithfulness. That means you ain't staring the brother down. The world teaches you right now that you equal, so they stand brothers down, want to fight brothers, and you know they can't fight no brother. Read. And sobriety. So you you sober? And, and sober? Not with bro that hair. Because your hair your your hair braided, that's not gonna make you the the the, the, the modest apparel. The way you carry yourself. Or gold. The gold don't make you. He ain't saying you can't wear it, he just said don't make that be. Standing, yeah, right? Or pearl, or costly array. But which becoming women professing godliness. So we want to be, the women want to be professing godliness. So uh, go back, let's, let's get up, let's get something up. You got questions, sis? I, I just have. Yeah, just let me so, know. So, like, mm -hmm. people, like, It, it, it happened to all of us. We was all lied to. Um, we was all in the Christian church. A lot of us came from different backgrounds. I was in, uh, in the Baptist church. You know, one brother was in the uh, Jehovah's Witness. Another brother was in the Protestant. Another brother was Catholic. One brother thought he probably was a Muslim. We came out of there. Why? Because we found out that the Bible was a true book and it's real. And we read that, that, that God put curses on our people, Deuteronomy chapter 28. When we found out that God put curses on us and that we came over here, that's what we're going to read. That's, this this the indicator that made a lot of us convert over. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse, uh, let's try that one. Bring it up. Deuteronomy 28, 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So God, even then, when he talked to the Israelites, he said, if you talking to me and listen to me, I'm going to set you on high above all nations. So That's right. That means, if he said above all nations, it means it ain't no equal. Every man ain't equal. Uh, the Chinese man, the white man, all that, ain't no equal. He said he's going to set us above. So that means somebody is below. Um, up to 15. He was going he was going to bless us if we listen to him, but listen to this. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And this is what you're looking at right now, sis. This is a curse. This is a curse from God. That's why our water messed up. That, that's why uh, the blacks get shot down in the street. That's why we, the, uh, the, uh, the, the last hired the first fire. That's, that's right. why we all in the conditions we is because we didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord our God. But with us coming in, this we, we, when we learn these curses, let's just jump right to uh, verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. The curses don't be up, up, upon us for a sign and a wonder. So when, when you know what a sign is for, right? To indicate like this is Spencer Street. If that, if that sign wasn't there, I would have never knew what Spencer Street was. But especially if I ain't from around here, right? So curses is going to be on, upon us for a sign and for a wonder. So uh, when the sign that's on us, that's how you're going to know who the children of Israel are. The one that's cursed. That's how you're going to know who these people is on the side in the latter day. Because they, they say white people is, they cursed and stuff like that. But no, the Bible, the Bible don't say that. 
Read. Deuteronomy 28, 46. They shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. And it was going to be upon our children forever. It's not going to escape us. Generation after generation after generation, you was going to know who the Israelites is. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and, glad with, and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because we didn't serve the God, God with joyfulness and gladness. Because he gave us law, statutes, commandments, and we didn't do them with joyfulness, gladness, of heart for the bunnies. Everything he gave us, he said, for the bunnies of all things. Trees, he, the, the trees we see, the grass, the, the whatever he made for us, it's made for us. See? Uh, go ahead. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy. Now we got to serve our enemy. Which the Lord shall send thee, send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy. Which is the who? Spiritual. What? The white man. We got to serve our enemies for the what? The one of what? Which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent our enemies against us. They just didn't do it on their own. God sent them. In hunger and in thirst. We got to serve our enemies for us. If we hungry, we got to go to his fast food restaurant, go on his chain, where your people stuff at. That's how you know there's people on the side. See? And in nakedness, with our clothes, and in the want of all things. Anything, first certificate, death certificate, uh, 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 you know, uh, yeah, uh, driver's license, uh, social security cards, education, uh, welfare, anything. We got to serve him to get that water. Shalom, this is, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube channels. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.